What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing The First Purge. So this is a prequel to the whole Purge franchise. Yes, we've gotten one. I liked it. Two was awesome. Three, eh. Didn't like three at all. I was very disappointed in three. I thought too many subplots, too many characters. And again, the big issue with a lot of these films is too many characters, too many subplots, and just not getting to the purge fast enough and the first purge does fall into a lot of those categories again which i'll go into but with a new director on board gerald mcmurray who has directed a really solid netflix original film and also was a co-producer on fruitvale station i had some hope going into this film and really his direction did of wonders for this film i think the first purge it is a lot of fun it's not the best made film but i will say he his directing touch was there and i felt it full force. Maybe it's just me because I went into this film sadly with low expectations but with some tempered fun expectations for wanting to have a guilty pleasure time watching this film but I got more than that. I actually quite enjoyed this film and again like I said it has its issues but our main character Dimitri is really a huge standout in here. Dimitri is a badass to say the least. He is awesome and yes the the action sequences in here are brilliant. Like two of them in particular are off the charts awesome like atomic blonde staircase awesome and I, I mean when you see what i'm talking about you guys will be blown out of proportion with what's going on but i'll be honest when the action scene started happening i was like oh my god this is this is really bad this is really bad there's like too many jump cuts but then it's like they changed midway through the film and i i, I loved them i loved each and every one of the action sequences now some people might be like oh well that's like very unrealistic that I really did enjoy the action sequences with Dimitri which I have to say if they ever remake Blade that's your blade right there there's also the characters of Nayla and her brother they're okay I like their bond and their chemistry together a little bit predictable where that whole route goes but a lot of this problem comes with the script with their two characters because Dimitri overcame the bad script I thought he gave a great performance the two other characters in here though just give mediocre performances. A lot of it goes to the script. I just never believed half the dialogue they were saying, and I just could tell the actors were mailing it in, which kind of sucked because I thought the actress herself is actually really good. I've seen her in other things, but I just felt like she kind of mailed it in a bit. I think the script would have helped. If the script was a little bit more written a bit, I think it would have helped her character arc a lot. But that goes to my con. I didn't like the script for this film. A lot of the problems I have with all these Purge films are is the script. Either it takes too long to get to the purge events or there's too much government stuff that we don't need to know because we already know what's happening. It could just be easy exposition that you just give right in the beginning and that adds to it. Too much exposition, too many characters, too many subplots and characters that we don't even need because you don't even learn anything about them. They're just there to be a cheap way of liking them or having feelings for them and feeling worried for them and that's stuff we don't need. We, we never need those in these Purge films, and again, this film does fall back into that, where they add characters we don't ever need, they're expendable as hell, and don't get me wrong, there's one character in here, Dolores, no need for her, I enjoyed her, she was funny, but some other characters in here just, they just need to die, sorry, I, I don't mean to be mean about that, but they just need to die to give our other characters more screen time. Besides the script, again, the action scenes are wonderful in here. This film actually got me on the edge of my seat, which none of the other Purge movies have ever gotten me on the edge of my seat, where I'm actually engrossed in what's going on. Some of the jump scares actually effectively worked. And again, they I really appreciate that, because a big worry I had going into this film was I was wondering, how are they going to explain people being weird? How are they going to explain with all the weird masks and stuff? And in a weird sense, they actually do explain some of it with a psychological element, which I do appreciate that they explain because I was always wondering that. I was like, why do people dress weird? Why do they dress like they're at a rave, but they're just killing people? A cool little aspect to that. First Purge, it's an enjoyable film. It's actually a really fun film. The action sequences in here are great. I'll buy the Blu-ray just to rewatch a couple of them because they are so rewatchable. Like, I'm actually excited to go see this film again because of those action sequences. Yes, the beginning of this film is dull and boring. You could have easily cut out like 10 minutes of this film and added extra action sequences or extra sequences like that or even focused more on our main characters, perhaps. Gotten rid of some exposition characters and gotten rid of some other characters that you just are just expendable as hell. Again, all that lies in the script. I think the script is the big con for a lot of these films, but the direction really saved this film overall. I loved how the film was shot. I love the action sequences. Dimitri, I'm being serious, will be the next Blade. I'll be shocked if he's not. Awesome actor. Awesome performance from him. I overall really enjoyed the first Purge. I don't know if it's the best one yet. Gotta rewatch the other ones real fast before I do my ranking. But guys, with all that said, I'm gonna give the first Purge a C+.
Tell me guys, what's your guys' thoughts on the whole Purge franchise overall? Do you guys like them? Do you not? Are you looking forward to the first Purge? I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. If you're new here, consider subscribing and also liking this video. I do tons of movie reviews, rankings, and trailer reactions. Guys, you guys know what I'm going to say. Hit up all my social media links. Check out Sandwich Sean Films down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens like this one. Check out some movie news and movie reviews for other films coming out very soon. Of course, you guys all have a happy 4th of July and stay classy.